Hey guys, I'm Carson Stilson, the founder and creator of Wearworthy. First off, I want to thank you for being part of our email list. This is an exclusive bit of content just for those who have joined the email list. And I, I want to make sure you feel involved and like you're getting content that nobody else gets access to. Um, speaking of being involved, I wanted to show off our bag today, um, at least one of the early prototypes that we had created. I think that this first prototype, even though it's quite a bit different than our current bag, which you saw in the first email we sent you, um, it still shows off a lot of the materials and some of the features and other things that the bag I think represents. So hopefully it's still a fun look for you guys. Keep in mind, big disclaimer, a lot has already changed. A lot is going to change. And the final bag will, in my opinion, be much higher quality. But again, I still think that it's fun to keep you guys involved regardless. Um, the other thing I wanted to chat with you guys about was saying, hey, you know, we have some changes that we're gonna be making. This probably our next iteration won't be our final iteration. So if you have opinions, and as I show you this, I, I left a poll inside the email below this video for you to take after you watch it to tell us what you think. It helps just let us know if we're going down the right path for something that you would like to have. Without further ado, let's chat about our bag here. The first thing you'll notice is the, the sleek streamlined design compared to many other flight bags. We took a lot of inspiration from modern military aircraft that have very sleek designs and you'll notice that like certain things are hidden inside the aircraft that are only revealed when necessary. Um, we took a lot from that because I think that a lot of the functionality is inside the bag with some accessibility on the outside. Um, the first thing you'll notice is this, you know, honeycomb textile. I, I'm curious, we actually are debating on whether we wanna stick with the honeycomb or go, go with a, a more uh, solid black or dark gray color. Um, let me know in that poll that I sent you um, what your thoughts are on the honeycomb or maybe even going with multiple variants, one featuring this honeycomb or another color for uh, Kickstarter backer rewards that are exclusive for time only for, for Kickstarter backers. So yeah, let me know what you think on that. Um, the other thing you'll notice here on top are these two air holes. Um, they're, they're, most people are like, what is that for? And then this zipper behind here, this is actually a fuel sump pocket. So you zip this open, inside here is a rubber liner that is waterproof. So you could use your fuel sump, go fill up and test your fuel, make sure there's no water in it. And you know, even though fuel evaporates quite quick, um, after you dump it, you don't want fuel to be getting into your bag. So you can put your fuel sump away and then still have these air holes to release some of those vapors. So you're not stinking up any of the other items in your bag. Um, this also is a great pocket if you don't have a fuel sump or use one. It's an amazing pocket for sunglasses, for foggles, uh, flashlight. There's lots of things that can fit in here, but we wanted to give this as a, an option for those who might be taking their fuel sump with you. We're actually um, looking at a different options for these uh, rivet holes here. We're gonna probably find one that doesn't allow any sort of debris to get in, but still allows the air to release out. The next thing you'll notice is our handle here. This is uh, the, the main way we're assuming most people will hold their bag is through this handle. It's it's featuring, you know, the seat belt nylon here, and it's got uh, bar tack stitching. So it's gonna be really durable, not go anywhere. Uh, gonna take a lot of effort to damage this bag. Um, and then on the back, we have a placeholder um, this is actually going to be replaced with a, uh, a machined, uh, pressed out um, back paneling here with a uh, more of a mesh design and cover on this. So you could set it on something and not be worried about it moving or sliding anywhere. And you could even put it like on an airplane wing and, and not be worried about scratching it. So this will be a, a much uh, better looking back in my opinion right now. It's just kind of a placeholder stitching. And there's also these two hidden D-ring holders. You'll see this ring here and there's one in here as well that fit a D-ring um, handle. So I'll show you this strap right here. So this is a, a strap that you can have in your bag. It comes with it. Um, you'll be able to decide, hey, do I want to hold it with my hand or do I want to hook on my strap and take it with me with a strap and, and have it as a, a shoulder strap. The strap is super nice, high quality mesh on the bottom, seat belt, uh, nylon here. And then we also have like our logo embossed in this. This is actually a cutout version of our logo. We're probably gonna be replacing this with uh, just a, a printed version of the logo or a slightly embedded version, just because we don't want uh, any sort of debris to get in there or these to get damaged. They're pretty durable, but 
just kind of thinking ahead so nothing of that happens. But yeah, that's uh, that's the back panel. And then if you, again, want to not utilize those, you can just push these in and there you go. They're hidden. So now you don't have to worry about that. Moving along, we have a tablet pocket right here, which I mean, 99% <laughs> of pilots are flying with tablets these days. So we'll have a tablet pocket. You'll be able to fit up to an 11 inch tablet. It'll also be able to fit some documents in here. We're gonna be putting some dividers in that allow your documents to remain separate from your tablet, keep them safe. Maybe you're putting IACRA forms in here or your uh, you know, pilot's test uh, you know, proof showing how, how you did on your, your, your written exam, um, things like that. So it'll be a good little document holder for the back of there. And then of course the, the fiber in there will prevent your iPad from getting scratched. Um, and then yeah, the bottom here, we show another handle. We're actually replacing this handle and we're gonna put a, a mesh pocket here that you'll be able to, if you want, slide a water bottle into or something. So you have something that you can have quick access to if you want, um, but when you don't, it's really tied up against this and it's blended in perfectly. Let's look on the inside of the bag. And inside the bag, right now, it's just a, a nice clean opening for your headset. One thing I wanted to make people aware of, you can see there's a, a bit of a taper here where the, the bag tapers inward. We're actually getting rid of that. We're gonna kind of go with a little more uniform and then have it rounded on the top so there's even more space inside. Because right now it, it does fit headsets, but it's a little tight. I wanted it to be not too tight for your headset. So it's gonna fit your headset in here. We're gonna have a, uh, a cool feature. We have a, a removable puck that goes right here that can be adjusted. So your headset sits and wraps around that puck. It doesn't move. We're, we're looking at adding a uh, a holster here to, you can wrap up your cords and, and have it held tight together. And then, yeah, this will keep everything safe. We're gonna be adding a, uh, a stitching to this. So it keeps all of this fabric held tight together. Um, on this side, you have a slot for your pilot's license, or you can also slide like your medical information behind there. So you have it all, always with you. And then we have these, you know, stretchy mesh pockets, which can fit all sorts of things. Um, I know a lot of pilots like to fly with backup batteries or um, the larger version, you'd be able to fit some charts in there. And there you have it, a look at our flight bag. Of course, the first prototype. So expect some changes. I'm excited to share the next prototypes with you. Please message us or, or respond to this email. I look at all of them, or you can fill out that poll that I sent and let me know your thoughts. We have some places where you can leave feedback and hopefully help us design an even better bag that fits what every pilot would want in a you know, really sleek, unique, and high quality flight bag. But until the next email, talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.